The Commonwealth Savings Bank of Australia, the bank for all the family, takes pleasure in presenting the show for all the family, Life with Dexter. Or just a rainy day Be sure to save the friendly Commonwealth way So listen to this advice And start right, right today To bank Commonwealth save Commonwealth bank Commonwealth now I suppose at some time or another Every boy has decided to pack his little bag And leave home Young Ashley Dutton had never given the idea A second thought until quite recently when it was suggested by his friend Snail Gallagher. The two lads were sitting on a curb, as boys do, they sit on curbs, and Ashley said to Snail, Snail, do you ever, ever have an argument with your pop? Do I ever? Well, I reckon about on the hour every hour. What's biting you? Well, last night I asked Dad for a two shillings increase in my weekly allowance, and you think I dropped a bomb in the middle of the living room? Well, I've even done that. Oh, I dropped a bomb in the living room? Yeah, by accident. And it was a rotten egg gas bomb. Yeah. And for three days after, we all lived on the back veranda while the house got aired. <laughs> oh, I can tell you, Ash Ken, I wasn't terribly popular. Oh, I've never done anything as bad as dropping bombs in the living room. Oh, I reckon the worst thing I ever did was burn a hole in the carpet with my chemistry junk. Hmm. And my, my dad goes off his rocker if I do practically anything. He clouded me last week just because I used the wheels off his golf buggy on my billy cart. <laughs> uh, what does he say when you ask him for more allowance money? Oh, I always get that whenever there's an increase in the award wage. Well, what's the award wage got to do with it? Well, plenty. When it goes up, it means the cost of living's gone up and... Well, I've got to live, haven't I? <laughs> Boy, that's cool. You know, last night I asked for a miserable two shillings increase and... You think I asked for 200 greenbacks? Well, look, Ash, Ken, you, you want to try again? And this time use my favourite lurk when I'm after more loot. Just threaten to leave home. Threaten to leave home? You don't mean you've never threatened to leave home. But sure, for a strategy. A strategy? Huh. It always works? Ash, Ken, that's had more successes with my dad than I've had failures with my exams. Well, I've never thought about leaving home. Yeah, but that's the point. You don't leave home. You only threaten to. As soon as you start packing a suitcase, your family gets all sad and that's the end of it. Oh, they don't let you go? Well, sure they don't. Alice, listen, I'll give you a full rundown on it. Mm -hmm. You say you're going to leave home. You start packing all your stuff into a suitcase. Your mum takes out her hanky and starts sniffling. Your old old man tells her to dry up. She clouts him one. He goes mad. An argument starts and becomes a real blue. Now, Ash can, tell me, who always wins every fight in every house? I put them all together, they spell mother. <laughs> 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 Will you please eat your dinner and stop poking at it with your fork? Yes, Mum. Dear Father's getting ready to say something intelligent. I can tell. I am not. Well, go ahead, son. It'll be a treat for us to hear you say something intelligent. Uh, I was merely getting ready to ask Dad a simple little question, that's all. Well, go on and ask. I won't bite. Well, it's not your bite I'm worried about. It's your vicious bark. It... I do not bark. Whenever you ask me for something, which I imagine is what's coming now, I always give your request careful consideration and then let you have my definite answer. Which is always the same definite answer. No. Ashley, this isn't fair to Daddy. Daddy says yes to you dozens of times. What? Hundreds of times. Oh, I'll admit he always says yes whenever I ask, uh, do I have to mow the lawns or do I have to sweep out the garage? Look, Ashley, <laughs> during the evening meal, there's no time for you to st sit there glaring at people with a chip on your shoulder. If you have a request to make, then go ahead, make it. Okay, I will. Dad, with the present cost of living the way it is, I can't get by on my allowance. 
Son, with the present cost of living the way it is, you'll have to. <laughs> Janie, please pass me the salt. Yes, Daddy. You see, Ashley, your father didn't use the word no. Instead, he gave you a firm and common sense answer. Oh, sure, Mom. Well, but Pop's got 3,090 common sense ways of saying no. And sometimes a fellow feels like leaving home. What was that? <laughs> Sometimes it sort of feels like me, you know. Would you just say that again, and this time in your usual ear-splitting voice? I... I said sometimes a fella feels like leaving home. Ashley. Well, if sometimes a fella feels like leaving home, why doesn't a fella feel like doing something about it? Yes. Well, I... I... Mum hasn't said anything yet. Oh, I agree with your father and your sister. If you feel like leaving this house, then go ahead and do it. It might teach you a lesson. Huh. So that's how you all feel. Well, I've, I've a good mind, so go upstairs right now and pack my bags. Oh, I'll come up and help you. Yeah, maybe I can help too. I'm pretty good at packing suitcases. Well, don't anyone bother, thank you. The, the few things I'll need will fit in one suitcase. I, 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 I think I'll go up to my room this minute. Uh, but uh, firstly, I think you should finish your vegetables. I'm not hungry. Your mother's about to serve chocolate cake with ice cream. <laughs> Who cares? Very well, Ashley. You may leave the table. Get going, Death Adder. Well, son, uh, what's keeping you? Good. Don't worry, anybody. I'm going to pack my suitcase and walk out of this house just as soon as I have had some chocolate cake and ice cream. <laughs> Well, it certainly looks as though Ashley is going to move. But he's not being rushed into anything. He's making a few plans before he goes. And speaking of moving and making arrangements reminds me of a free Commonwealth Savings Bank service. Did you know that you can transfer your Commonwealth Savings Bank account anywhere in Australia entirely free of charge? That's a fact. So if ever you are moving from one locality to another, be sure to call at the Commonwealth Savings Bank before you go. The friendly staff there will arrange to transfer your account and you will be able to pick up your new book when you arrive at your new home. Just as simple as that. This free Commonwealth Savings Bank service applies everywhere. In fact, it doesn't matter whether you are moving from one suburb to the next or from one side of Australia to the other. This is only one of many free Commonwealth Savings Bank services. So you see, it does make a difference where you save. That's why over 5,300,000 people week by week bank Commonwealth. Now, Jessie, when that boy comes downstairs, we make no fuss, is that understood? Oh, but, dear, how do we know he, he hasn't actually packed a suitcase? Oh, Mummy, he hasn't. He'll come downstairs any minute and say he's decided to run away next year instead of now. Even if he is carrying a case, we'll know perfectly well he's only bluffing. Oh, I wouldn't be so certain Ashley is bluffing. Mummy, men always bluff with things like this. Remember the time you and Daddy had a big argument? And Daddy said he was going to his club to stay there? Now, wait a minute. I wasn't bluffing that time. <laughs> I went out the front door and I left home, didn't I? Oh, yes, dear, yes. Uh, for exactly three minutes. Then you came back and said it was too cold and you'd wait for a warmer night. Oh, hey, yeah. hey, shh. Death Adder's creeping down the stairs now. And he does have a suitcase. <laughs> oh, Dexter. Now, no, no matter what bluff he tries to pull, we are not going to show any concern, and I mean that. <laughs> yes, dear. Oh, Mummy, don't worry. He won't go as far as the front door. Well, son, I see you're all packed. Uh, yes. Yes, it's fine. I'm all packed. <laughs> Got everything you need? Um, I, uh, I guess so. Ashley, dear, let's be sensible. He, he's been quite sensible, dear. You see, he knows where he's going and he's going to get there. Well, son, let's shake hands and I'll see you to the door. Oh, please, Dexter, we've got to Kiss your mother goodbye, Ashley. Bye, Mum. Oh. Oh, goodbye, Ashley. Send us a postcard sometime. Yep. Well, now, come on, son. Don't worry about your mother having a little bit of a sniffle. Females are like that, but we men have to stand by our convictions. Uh, yeah. 
You see, I have no hard feeling about our little differences of opinion. I admire you for standing up to me, the same as I have to stand up to you, you see? Well, bye now. Well, I, I, I guess I'll be going. I guess you will. Well, so long, Pop. So long, son. <coughs> And be seeing you sometime. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, to tell, tell Mum I'll, I'll, I'll write. Yeah, I'll tell her. Well, I, I reckon this is goodbye. I reckon it's goodbye, yeah. <laughs> now look, son, it's a bit chilly tonight with this door open and your mother's getting the draft. Oh. Oh, well, goodbye. Uh, bye, son. <laughs> oh, Dexter. He's gone. Now, Jesse, just keep your voice down. I, I, I've got to hum to let him think. Look, he's gone nowhere. He'll be right outside the front door. Oh, Mummy, he won't even reach the front gate. Be quiet. Certainly not. Look, look, dear, I can't understand how a grown woman can carry on with this, this ridiculous drama. I've called the boy's bluff, and now he's got to find an excuse to ring that doorbell and come back inside. I bet he's sitting on his suitcase thinking up what to say. How can you both be so sure? Because it's human nature. Jesse, even if Ashley carries his bluff further than we anticipated, I certainly won't be losing my head and cracking up like you. Well, will you just go out the front and see what he's doing? No, he's not going to see if I care whether he's gone or not. And I don't care, not one little scrap. Daddy, you could go out to the letterbox. There's nothing wrong with you checking the mail. Huh? Well, that, that's true. I haven't looked in the box this evening. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll, I'll go out quite casually. I'll be back in a second. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, Mummy, oh. stop worrying. Daddy isn't. Jesse! Jesse is gone! My little boy is gone! He's left home! Oh, my daddy! Oh, he's gone! Oh. Well, hi, Ashcan. What are you doing here at night? Oh, listen, Snail, can I talk to you for a minute? Are your mum and dad home? No, come in. Mum's away at Auntie Ag's for a few days and dad won't be home till about nine o'clock. What's eating you? I took your advice and threatened to leave home. Yeah? And what happened? Nobody stopped me! <laughs> Holy cats! And you walked out of the house? I was practically helped out. Jumper jelly beans. I didn't know your old man was such a hard nose. Oh, my pop's okay. I just pulled a bluff and he took me up on it. Now I'm a weary waif alone in the wasteland. Oh, gee, what a hard tax. You know, Ashcan, it's a funny thing, but after our talk this morning, I had a go at Dad about a new pair of roller skates and he said no. So what? So I threatened to leave home. And your father gave in as usual? Well, not exactly. I only threatened to leave home just as Dad was going out the front door. And while he was going through the front gate, I yelled out, Don't expect me to be here when you get home. Snail Gallagher, you make me sick. You mean you're going to be here when your pop gets home? Well, sure. I can always try out my threat again when Dad's in a better mood. What a weak-bellied schmo you are. I pulled a bluff and my pop called it, and at least I've got enough spine to go through with my threat. Hey, now, wait a minute. Hold on, Ashcan. I'm not too yellow to go through with mine either if I have to. This is the first time my old man hasn't given in. But I'm, I'm, I'm willing to pack a suitcase and join you right now. Okay, we'll cut the conversation and do it. I'm going to stay away from home until I'm forcibly brought back. Even if I have to start looking for a job tomorrow. Hey. Hey, uh, tomorrow might be all right, but uh, how about tonight? Where, where do we bed down tonight? Well, there's only one place we can stay tonight, and that's in the old Vincent place. It's been empty for years, and we can park there if you can swipe a couple of blankets. I forgot to bring any. Yeah, but the, the, the old Vincent place is supposed to be haunted. Oh. <laughs> Look, supposed to be doesn't mean it is. There are no such things as ghosts. And even if there were, would you be scared if you saw one? Yes. So would I. <laughs> Dex, 
Dexter. It's all right for you to say that he'll walk in any moment, but it's after nine o'clock. It's ten past nine. Well, ten past nine isn't the middle of the night. That boy will walk in here any moment with a sad, droopy look and with his tail between his legs. You make our little boy sound like a cocker spaniel. Oh. oh Mummy, please don't cry. If Ashley has to be likened to a dog, he's much more like an Alsatian than a cocker spaniel. <laughs> the door. Oh, uh, there, there he is. Uh, shall I get No, it? no, Janie, I helped my son through that door. I can certainly help him back. Uh, be it ever so humble, there's no place like home. Well, young man, what can I do? If Steve Gallagher. Oh, oh, let me inside. I'm frozen. Oh. I'm out of me mind, Dex. Completely out of me mind. Well, that's nothing new. <laughs> Steve, what is it? What's the matter? Oh, hello, Jessie, love. Hello, Jane. What? Oh, look, I just don't know which way to turn. What? what, what? Clarence has left home. What? Sna sna snails left home? Yeah, he left this note for me. Look, sorry, Dad, but I said I'd do it and I did. Oh. Don't worry about me. I'm with me best pal and we'll get by okay. Your loving son, Clarence. Uh, snail in brackets. Oh, that means that Snail's with Ashley. Eh? You mean Ashley shot through too? Yeah, like a Bondi tram. He said he was going because I wouldn't increase his allowance and I called his bluff and he, he, he went. Oh, oh, then it's your son who's responsible for my son leaving home. <laughs> He's talked Clarence into it. Now, now, just you wait a moment. Don't you blame my innocent son. Snail said in his note to you he was going because he said he would. Ah, he said that a million times, but he's never covered out his word. Dexter, your son's called to my house and enticed my little boy to walk out on his parents. My Ashley has done nothing of the sort. But if I were a boy with you for a father, I'd have left home as soon as I could crawl. <laughs> now, look, Dutton, don't you start riling me. Oh, you're the one who's riling me, in my opinion, Gallagher. both you... of you. Two grown men arguing like little children when your only concern should be for your son. Yeah, well, he shouldn't have said that no, what he uh, said. Uh, 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 uh. Jesse's right, Dex. Our boys may be hungry and cold, and uh, cold and hungry, uh, out in the cruel world. Heaven knows where. Oh. Oh, Mummy, where could they be? Oh, I don't know, dear. But I know your father and Mr. Gallagher are going out to start searching and bring them home where they belong. Oh, now, now, Jesse, I, I told you a hundred times that is entirely the wrong thing to do. If I go out and find Ashley and bring him home, I I'll never live it down. You know, Dickie boy, for once in your life, you've spoken sense. Jesse, love, I agree with Dex. We've all got to sit tight and wait it out a little longer. You see, dear, if Steve says I've spoken sense, I must have said something sensational. But the phone! Oh, oh. Dex, to answer uh, 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 Calm, everybody. <laughs> calm and serene. If, if, if this is Ashley oh, ringing yes. up, there, there must be no sign of panic answer or nervousness. It. I'll answer it and act like I'm perfectly relaxed, which I am. Hello? Hello? Oh, it's you, Mrs. Ryan. I beg your pardon? Oh, I see. Well, no, 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 he's not home, so you're probably right. I, thank you. Thank you for calling, Mrs. Ryan. Goodbye. That, that was Mrs. Pete Ryan, who lives across the street from the deserted old Vincent house. Yes. She said she saw two boys sneaking through a window with suitcases, and one of the boys looked like Ashley. Aha! So that's where they are, at the haunted house. Oh, oh well, at least we know where they are. Oh, what a relief. Uh, uh, Steve, uh, yeah. you just referred to the Vincent place as the, uh, the haunted house. I, I think I've got an idea. <laughs> I'm way ahead of you. <laughs> You're thinking we should haunt the house ourselves, so the boys will scurry back home before we humiliate ourselves by dragging them home. Yeah, exactly. Oh, <laughs> I don't like that idea. Mummy, it won't hurt the boys, and it'll teach them a lesson they should be taught. Yeah. Dickie boy, there's only one thing wrong with your plan. If we haunt the house in person, the boys will either see us, or if they don't, They'll race home before we can on our tired old legs. Oh well, so what? So they'll find out we're not at home and pretty soon wake up who were the ghosts. Oh. Once they wake up to that fact, we're in the same boat we'd be in if we forcibly dragged them home. Yeah, well... Wait a minute, I, I, I've got it. What? I've got the answer to that one. Look, look, Steve. Yeah, yeah. 
What say we tape record our haunting noises on my tape recorder? I... What? Yeah, my recorder works off a battery as well as a PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. Now, after we've recorded a mass of mighty ghostly noises, <laughs> we'll nick up to the old Vincent place and sneak the recorder under the house. <laughs> We can leave enough blank track on the tape so the weird noises won't start until well after we've turned on the machine and snuck away. Uh, oh, I still don't like the idea. Oh, Mummy, it's a wonderful idea. <laughs> Dexter, I still think you're a bird brain, but the bird you got your brain from must have been a wise old owl, eh? <laughs> Whether Dexter really is as wise as an owl remains to be seen, and that applies not only to what is going to happen tonight, but also as to what happens when he gets his taxation refund in the near future. I hope he's wise enough to pay his tax refund check into the Commonwealth Savings Bank and let it work for him. I hope that goes for you too. You know, there's always a big temptation for us to think of taxation refund checks as easy come, easy go money. But when you think more about it, you realize that your taxation refund money didn't come easy. You had to work for it in the first place. It is part of your wages paid into the taxation department. So this year, get full value for it. Pay your taxation refund into the Commonwealth Savings Bank, together with your other savings. Then later you can spend it on something you know is going to benefit you. If you haven't already got a Commonwealth Savings Bank account, then use your taxation refund check to open one. And of course, from then on week by week, Bank Commonwealth. <laughs> it's, 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 it's cold. Hey, that's not bad. It's not, not much better. With, 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 it's not much better with the two blankets over by the rest than it was before. Oh, there's a, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a draft coming in through that crack in the wall. Maybe the draft is a. I said, maybe, maybe the draft is a ghost entering the room. Oh, ghost fooey. Oh. I said, you, 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 you said the word in me. Oh, 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 Lord, it's a chain. It's a tie. It's, 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 it's a ghost. It's a ghost wearing chains. Suffering Caesar. My, 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 maybe it is suffering Caesar. I... <laughs> Jesse Lovers, Dexter says they'll be at that front door any minute now, pleading to be let in. Oh. I still contend it was an awful thing to do. Mummy, it'll do them good. Steve, even if they went to your place first, Snail will come here with Ashley when he finds you're not at home. Yeah, ah, it's great to think they're on their way of their own accord and we didn't have to get them. Oh, oh. <coughs> <coughs> Leave it to me, I I I'll get it. Well, good evening, boys. Come right in. <laughs> Hi, Pop. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi, Mr. Gallagher. Hi. 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 Gee, Dad, what are you doing here? Oh, it's not unusual for me to call in and visit the Duttons. Anyhow, Clarence, I thought you decided to uh, run away from home and stay away. Well, I uh, changed my mind when I realised how much you wanted me to come back. So did I, Pop. Just what do you mean by that? Yes. What? Oh, um, nothing. <laughs> um, um, seeing it so late, can Snail sleep here in my room tonight? Oh, yes, I guess that'll be all right. Okay, Dad? Mm, yes. 
But uh, get up the stairs to bed right now. Yeah, come on, child. Follow me. Hey, wait a minute. What about your suitcases? Where are they? Oh, just outside the front door, Dad. Would you mind bringing them in? Huh. Oh, and, uh, Dad, one other thing. Yeah, what's that? Bring in your tape recorder at the same time. No. <laughs> Bring in my, my, my tape Oh. While the rest of the Duttons get over the shock of what Ashley just said, let's talk about something that is not very far off now, spring. Probably quite a lot of our feminine listeners are looking forward wistfully to spring. Why? Because spring means gay light frocks, so different from the winter woolies everyone is wearing at present. And that brings me to a very important question. When spring comes, will you have the money to buy lovely new frocks? You will if you're saving regularly in a Commonwealth Savings Bank account. And what applies to the girls applies much the same to the men. They need lighter suits and sports clothes in summer, and these cost money too. And believe me, you'll always have money for these things if you save regularly in a Commonwealth Savings Bank account. So isn't it just plain common sense to save money you don't need now so that you can get better value and more happiness out of us spending it later? Let's be common sensible. Open a Commonwealth Savings Bank account this payday and from now on, week by week, Bank Commonwealth. If money can buy it, saving will get it. So Bank Commonwealth now. For a car or a bike or just a rainy day. Be sure to save the friendly Commonwealth way. So listen to this advice and start right today to Bank Commonwealth save. Life with Dexter is produced by Noel Judd and written by Willie Fennell. <laughs> and this is John Dunn inviting you to enjoy Life with Dexter at the same time next week from this station. And remember, you'll always enjoy life with a Commonwealth Savings Bank account. There's laughter and fun for everyone in Life with Dexter books now on sale. For the laugh of your life, buy a Life with Dexter book at your newsagent tomorrow. Yeah.